And the studios, they control everything, Sabrina. Just like the studios are fighting over this new project called Crime 101. That's right, Amazon and Netflix, again, Netflix, again, fighting over a new project because you got Chris Hemsworth, you got Pedro Pascal attached to it. It's pretty much a heat kind of Who story. Who is this other person? That's, a, that's actually the director himself. Oh. His name's Bart oh. Layton, and Bart Layton actually is, uh, you know, he's done some things. He's- uh, I was like, Frank Langella looks great he for kind of 96. Like, right? <laughs> he's, American Animals is a project he's done, apparently. That's something, but he's, you know, EP and stuff, and they're talking about like, you know, but the thing is like, the, the actual thing is based off a, like, I guess they call it novella, which is like either a small story or a long thing. Mike might be able to help me with that word, though. Tell a novella. Uh, yeah, novella, you heard that before, Mike? A little nine page, whatever. Yeah. So, something that yeah. doesn't quite make you feel like you say a nut on the page? What did, what did you just say? <laughs> like, a a nut, like a 90 page, you know, 120 pages. You pick oh, it up. And I thought you said a nut on the page. I was like, nut, wow, we are know. really taking it to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how I'm like, Mike's, like, Mike's got nothing right there. Yeah. He's tongue tied right there. You bait me and I bait you, sir. I just want to. I just want to clarify for my mother if she's still watching. <laughs> I penis no. means uh, what? Uh, intellectual IP. property. The the property Ness. of being associated with intellectual property. Yes, I think I mean, might have left. Yeah, <laughs> I, I hope Make so. Me? She's reve she's that revealing all name? my. She's revealing all my internet passwords in the chat here. <laughs> I you mean the heart symbol? Yeah. Well, let's get into this for a second about Crime 101. Okay, so Crime 101, if you wonder what it's about, it's about a high-level jewel thefts that are, that are taking place up and down the Pacific coast, and the police have linked this into a Colombian cartel situation. And you have a detective. This name is up. I laugh at this name. It's like, I'm guessing Hemsworth is playing this part. But okay, okay, ready for this? Lou Lubesnick. Lou Lubesnick, everybody, is actually going to try to take these heroes in on one perp. He's going to try to take them down. He's looking for, that perp's looking for a final score. So I'm guessing that's going to be Pedro and him working together, trying to take them down. And uh, this book was actually published as part of a whole story. It's called Broken in 2020. And I guess they're trying to look to get to this for like $100 million they're trying to sell it for. So Amazon and Netflix are going back and forth for it. I mean, you got Hemsworth. You got Pedro here. They're both very popular. You know, we got, we got Thor and Mandalorian together, so I guess that's probably good enough for the it's studios Thor to fight Delorean over. Thor DeLorean to you, sir. Thor DeLorean. DeLorean. DeLoreans. <laughs> Sabrina, does this, does this make you excited at all? Do you, are you, do you think this would be a good project? Is it worth fighting for? Or do you think that people are just going nuts because of the strike right now and they're just looking for property to grab onto? Uh, I think it's pretty fucked up that they're willing to f have a bidding war over a film that doesn't even exist yet, as opposed to paying their editors and that crazy, right? <laughs> that's that's what I think. It's pretty fucked. So maybe instead of spending all your energy to see which one is going to be able to grab onto this eye penis, you could just very kindly uh, pay the people who work for you and make you your money and stop being stupid. Um, great shot from Narcos, and is that 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 Expediter movie or what's it called? Extraction. Extraction. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Extraction. Is that yeah. Extraction. Yeah. Extraction slash Narcos. Good <laughs> yeah. shots. Um, yeah. So I feel like I feel like uh, I love these two actors immensely. Um, <laughs> such great. Neither pictures. one of them can get um, a clean shave for the life of them. <laughs> no. Yeah, well, nope. I, no, I hate nope. facial hair, but I don't mind either of these situations. Hey, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's right. Louis Lubes anything. you're talking about. I, just, there. <laughs> I think it's Michael Fassbender. Leave the bidding war alone here, Spray. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> Um, yeah, so no, I'm, I mean, obviously I'm going to watch. I think the name Crime 101 like sounds very Nickelodeon or Disney to me. Like, I just don't seem, it doesn't it's seem awesome. like what it is. I feel hey like guys, should, this weekend, Crime 101. Maybe rebrand with a new name, but other than Arthur. that, I am in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You Every week, a it. new crime for kids to know. Embezzling. Danger force. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if that's what it was, wouldn't it be? But it's like, they say it's like Heat. It's like Heat, which is, you know, a big, it's a big uh, movie that came out, and it's like, like, Breaking and entering. Like that, you know, recreate that kind of vibe. These two are great for it. Sean, what do you think? Is this something for you? Are you thinking this is worth fighting over? Or do you think they need to calm down and uh, and stop fighting over something like this? Yeah, probably calm down. Uh, there's enough uh, small shit out there and, and give some new stuff a, a shot. Uh, do, you know, again, I would much more, uh, much more throw my money and my attention toward a uh, crime definition show for children 
uh, than I would. Uh, I agree. Than I, than I would. It's going to uh, help them in their a synopsis lives. Synopsis that you gave for these two. Uh, listen, I, Can I you mean, do a they're, spin-off? they're both you know phenomenal actors, and and you know they're they're very hot right now. Uh, you know, uh, Hemsworth has probably been doing this for you know a little bit longer, obviously, than Pedro at this point, but. Uh, I'm I'm happy to see anything involving them as long as it looks good and uh, you know is done the right way. But yeah, crime crime 101, you know, starring like Ashley Simpson in the 90s would have been great. Yeah, um, 100%. You know, yeah. So Ariana Grande's first role. Yeah. yeah. Like, Today's <laughs> crime. <laughs> <laughs> You're going right yeah, to the drunk, drunk driving shot. Like, I was gonna go. I was gonna go to see you. I heard it. I, I was gonna go. To, well, yeah. Can't you imagine? Don't fall like, if it, the wheel. It's 101. Like a, it's 101. Yeah. With, it's we're 101. gonna do some light trespassing. Yeah. Yeah, do a little light, speeding, light maybe. Trespassing. You're going right to the 400 level. I get theft. You know, like that kind of thing. <laughs> and you use like you know like, like anyone, children if i see this coming out i'm suing you nickelodeon and disney it's point. happening yeah, it's fine. control come after you yeah no, but can you imagine like little children reenacting crimes? Oh, 100 like, percent like, You know what like little like six year olds uh, interacting in a bank I'm robbery. Talking or cartoons and we talk about that. It makes me it gives me a oh, reminder of Eddie, all of it. Eddie Murphy. All Did of you it. remember Eddie Murphy on Saturday Night Live when yeah. he was like doing Mr. Robinson's neighborhood? <laughs> yeah. And he go. was like, Can you say eviction? <laughs> he's like there knocking go. on the door and he like jumped out the See? window. There's a so precedent good. for this. This is what this is what people want. These are the ideas, you know. This is this is this is why you need through. writers' rooms right here. That's yeah. why. why we're right yeah. That's true. We might yeah. not even be allowed to be doing what we're doing right <laughs> oh, now. Shit. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! I don't think any of us are in the WGA. Are in the writers' room. <laughs> no, we're cool. We're, we're solidarity, really Brian. Brian and I. Solidarity. <laughs> Mike, I so are you solid. excited about this project at all, or do you think that again, Netflix and Amazon need to find something else to do as opposed to fighting over a project like this? It's crazy. Hey, is writers. this the kind? Is this the kind of thing that uh, that massive corporations get involved in with movies and their financing? It seems strange yeah, to me. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. Like j before, like this early in the project, they're they're throwing money around just to acquire the well, rights. Someone's like, going to finance making it. But the the with numbers this big, like the, uh, for a million, yeah, for whatever for whatever reason. I mean, I guess that the. Uh, the novella that this is based on is incredibly oh, hot is. property. Bring like people, well, that's hot what, that's IP why is. they're, it, so it's the novella oh, plus boy. these two guys, plus their non-shaven, sexy Louis <laughs> lubed up faces Blue or steel. whatever. That's all it takes, Mike. That's all it takes. Yeah. Yep. Did you say lubed up faces? Is that's what, that's what Chris up. Hemsworth's hypothetical name is in this <laughs> Chris series. Everyone. Ask Brian. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah mike this is what it is the thing is though right now because there's right now we're in a weird world Since doesn't it they seem can't crazy be shooting i feel i feel it's like crazy. i'm crazy that they're they're throwing around this much money this early no, in the it's, production it's, cycle like it's it's nuts it's nuts like for a project that was like just a a a series <laughs> that came out like this and then they have these actors attached to it and people are like Amazon it's gonna sell like it's gonna do well but you have no idea if the script's not good like you don't know if it's actually gonna make your money back look at that red notice movie that came out on netflix like you had all the big cast you had ryan Reynolds, you had the rock you had gal gadot gal gadot river and the thing is like that didn't do well at all it's like one of their worst received Her movies most recent movie that you know? just came out also bombed Again, on netflix doesn't always sell the script. It's called. It's if called the script's not good, the looking hot and doing stunts. That's what they should call it. This is all they have time for because they don't want to actually sit down and talk to their people and watch the contrary out. They'd rather fight about I would this. Do, but it didn't do good. <laughs> just saying. Don't watch it for cinematic, uh, cinematic pleasure. Just watch it for eye candy.